Hey, it's me again. I'm Lauren Rosado with Comp Performance Group. And a lot of popular applications use non-adjustable rockers, including the ever-present GMLS. Today I want to quickly go over how to set hydraulic lifter preload with non-adjustable rockers, and we'll be using the LS as an example. When installing these rocker arms, it all starts with using the proper length push rod in order to obtain the optimal amount of hydraulic lifter preload. Since the rockers don't allow for the adjustment, the push rod length is the only recommended method of doing this. Using the OEM or the cam manufacturer's suggested push rod length is a good place to start. An easy way to make sure you're being consistent every time you check the lifter preload is to go in the firing order. For most of you hardcore gearheads, you probably know your engine's firing order better than you do your own phone number. And for those of you that don't, you can easily find it online or in your owner's manual. To set the preload, you'll need the lifter you're working on to be on the base circle of the cam. A pretty foolproof way to do this is the EOIC method. Exhaust opens, intake closes. We'll explain this more along the way. On cylinder number one, start at top dead center, then rotate the engine clockwise until the exhaust valve just begins to open. Now on the intake, run the rocker arm bolt down to zero lash. Zero lash is simply the point at which there's no slack. Just wiggle the rocker, or if you can get to it, the push rod with your fingers. While not necessary for this method, we have a dial indicator set up to illustrate just what each turn of the wrench is doing. Now, tighten the rocker with a torque wrench set at 22 foot-pounds. This is factory torque specs from GM. You can find these specs online or in a popular automotive reference manual. Generally, for an LS1 or LS7 with stock type lifters, you want about one to one and three quarters turns. Depending on your application and style of lifter, preload may be different. We're using our stock replacement lifters to explain this process. With an OEM style lifter, if it's much less than one turn, you'll need longer push rods. If it's approaching two turns, shorter push rods. Of course, Comp Cams has a wide selection of push rod types and sizes, so finding exactly what you need should be a piece of cake. As you work your way through the motor, remember EOIC. As the exhaust valve opens, work on the intake. Set the exhaust as the intake valve closes. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to call our Cam Help Tech Line. We're here Monday through Friday and Saturdays too. As always, remember to subscribe to our channel, leave a couple of comments, and stay tuned for more upcoming videos.